while it's difficult to pinpoint the first Chinese restaurant inside a mall, there's enough evidence to say the first successful mall Chinese food chain was opened in Canada, the Sherway Gardens Shopping Center in Toronto in 1971. The shopping center is still there and technically the food chain is still in business today too. We'll find out more in today's episode. Hi, my name is Christy and this is the American Chinese Food Show. Go Chin was an instant success. Daily specials included butterfly shrimp, barbecued pork, and almond and fried rice at $1.39, a la carte menu like egg rolls at $0.25. Cents. When Sherway Gardens opened in 1971, it had 127 stores and 27 booths concentrating on fast food from Chinese, Italian, Jewish to Canadian, called Gourmet Fair. That was three years before Paramus Park in New Jersey, the mall that is generally considered to be the first successful mall food court. Sherway's promotion director claimed, this has never been done in a plaza before. What's on the menu at Gochin at Sherway Gardens? Here's an ad. If you're tired of the hamburger ho-hums, try out delicious yum-yums. Full flavored fried rice, scrumptious beef and mixed vegetables, tasty sweet and sour chicken, delicious chicken covered in a crispy batter with a tasty sweet and sour sauce, tangy sweet and sour spare ribs, appetizing garlic honey spare ribs, crunchy wontons, crispy egg rolls, and meaty bobo balls, morsels of deep fried minced pork in a crunchy battered ball with special sauce on top. But great quality was never the selling point of more food. Something hideously orange and indistinguishably puffy. I tried an egg roll and found it crisp but stuffed entirely with shredded Chinese cabbage and horseradish. The plate I chose was $1.49 and included several medium-sized shrimp made large by gobs of crisp batter, chicken chow mein in which the chicken was all but invisible, and fried rice. One food critic got it though. Now Gochin is no Saiwu, but then Saiwu doesn't serve up sweet and sour chicken or spare ribs in 10 seconds flat for $1.09. Gochin positioned itself as the symbol for instant Chinese food with the tagline, hot and delicious, ready when you are. A manager confirmed in other restaurants, you have to worry about room. Here the people come, get the meal and pay is fast for us. A new concept in Chinese food, fresh, fast and delicious, prepared before your eyes. They really meant it when they said, we really started something. Two years after the first restaurant, they are already at three more locations, Eastgate in Hamilton, Scarborough Town Hall, and the Gourmet International in Montreal. By 1980, Gold Chin already grew to 14 locations, like Royal Bank Plaza, Eaton Centre, Hudson Bay Centre, Shepherd Centre, Morningside Mall, and more. Less than 10 years of starting Gochin, it reached a gross revenue of $3.5 million, about $12 million today. Who's the person behind it? A business genius? No, just a low-key guy from Hong Kong. In a feature called Chinese Business Success Built on Astute Efficiency in 1980, the reporter said one of the most successful entrepreneurs that have gained a foothold in the fast food industry was Jack Pong. His grandfather first came from Canton to work on the Canadian Pacific Railway. Then in 1951, 14-year-old Jack arrived in Toronto and joined his father at his laundry shop in Chinatown. Jack began his food services career through a series of restaurants over the decades, including Holiday Gardens in Mississauga, Main Court and Chop Six and Rice in Toronto. Pong said he first got the fast food chain idea in 1970. He tried it out in a little shop next to his restaurant. Gold Chin was born one year later in Sherway Gardens. He knew he had a goose that was laying golden eggs. 
he said. An ever-increasing percentage of total available food dollars will be spent on fast foods in the years ahead. Our Chinese items provide welcome alternatives to the standard meat, fish and potato fare, as well as the heavy and rich Italian dishes. Jack had an ambitious plan to expand his franchising program westward and into the United States. The plan was cut short a few months later because Jack Pong sold Gold Chain for an undisclosed amount to Scott's in 1980. Scott's was Canada's largest multi-diversified hospitality group. They owned KFC and Holiday Inns of Canada. Yes, self-serve Chinese food, food prepared in walks where customers can watch in shopping centers was getting popular, but Gold Chin's growth was limited. An analyst said it's because of difficulty gaining access to existing shopping malls. Tom Seal, a development director whose job was to determine the feasibility of new store sites, explained they paid for a lot of mistakes. For example, the West Edmonton Mall had more restaurants than it could sustain. You know, big corporations, when they can't innovate, they acquire. In 1989, Scott's bought another Canadian Chinese fast food chain and converted all gold chin. With the 127 stores operating under that name, Scott's became the largest Chinese fast food operation in North America. You might have heard of that chain before, Manchu Walk. Not much can be found on Jack Pong after he sold the Chinese fast food empire he kickstarted. His obituary said he enjoyed spending time with family and friends and volunteering, but it did sneak in a little humble brag. In fact, Jack was recognized as a pioneer of Chinese fast food chains. Some of his restaurant creations still exist today. Holiday Gardens, opened in 1963, is now a Chinese and Japanese restaurant, still a local favorite. But more goers won't be able to find Gold Chin in Sherway Gardens today. Instead, they will have to get sweet and sour pork, honey chicken and ginger beef from another mall food chain, Sichuan Express. That's it for today's episode. If you like our content, subscribe to the channel. See you soon!